welcome back to the second episode of the beginner scratch course again this is a scratch crash course for people who aren't very familiar with scratch in this episode particularly we are going to be creating our own account um, through the scratch interface and if you already have an account don't worry about that you can skip this episode but this is again for very beginners so uh, I think this could be helpful so there are two ways to access scratch one is offline and one is online the offline version is available for download but I strongly do recommend the online version for two reasons firstly it automatically saves uh, your project every couple of seconds and secondly there's a whole social media aspect of scratch that I think adds a lot of value so uh, to create an account, it's pretty straightforward. You can click join Scratch here and create a username that's unique. So let's say I wanted to say Scratcher um, and then a bunch of random characters to make sure it's unique. So then we're going to write down a password. I'm not going to show mine, um, but it's got to be at least six letters, I believe. And we can hit next. Click United States of America. If that's where you're from, that's where I'm from. But you can enter in your country here and then click next and then click the year you were born and the month. So let's say I was born in January of 2020. I can click that there and you can select your gender um, and then enter your email. So let's say my email was something like that at gmail.com. And I can say I'd like to. And you can create your account. Um, and from there, it's pretty easy to go through. So for the purposes of this entire series, I'm going to be using the online platform because I generally do prefer that, but it's up to you. So that's going to be it. That's how to create an account. It's very easy, uh, very intuitive. So yeah, join us in the next episode where we actually get into coding. All right, peace.